I mounted the ZEX module on my dash because I wanted to see it work. And the master arm switch is here. Okay, you flip this up. And then what you do is this module here is hooked into the gas pedal. Okay, the pedal down here, uh, what they call TPS, throttle position sensor, right here on the pedal, uh, is tuned into this. And only when you hit bottom, wide open throttle, does the nitrous kick on. Uh, it's a relatively simple system, and it's a hell of a lot of fun when you hook the thing up. I haven't run in a vehicle this fast since uh, my big block supercharged Nova. That was a heck of a lot of fun, but this is really, really incredible. Underneath your hood, you're going to mount the nitrous solenoid, and there's a couple fail-safe switches inside here that work really good. The main thing is, is that it will not administer the nitrous until you have made enough boost, and it will not administer the nitrous until you're all the way down to the floor with a pedal. And from the solenoid, it runs right in here into the intake right next to the digital propane injection. So it's a really very rudimentary system. It's very simple, but with that little module inside there, it's absolutely fantastic how it runs. With this DVD set comes the section where we install this system on this truck. And we'll show you step by step how to install it. When I installed the Zex Nitro system, I installed the 300 horsepower jet in the system. All that really did was waste nitrous because I didn't have enough fuel flow to, to use that kind of nitrous. Uh, really, I could have run a 150 horsepower jet and uh, not wasted all the nitrous. The Zex Nitrous system running by itself with no propane now in the 110 horsepower configuration from the SCT produced 762.9 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's bad as hell, son. I mean, that's grabbing you by the ass and tossing you down the road. That's moving. 2500 RPM. The last thing we did was we run both the ZEX and the DPI together, the propane injection, and we came out with a final number of 771.8. In our road testing with the vehicle, uh, I, I, a couple different points, I almost killed my transmission because of the heat produced by the torque converter, the, the temperature jumped all the way up to 250 and we had to come back and wait and let the thing cool off before we really tore some stuff up in the transmission. Um, at these power levels, it's important to understand that you are pushing the truck way beyond what it's designed to do. But my main objective was I wanted to see just how much you could get out of a stock, unmodified engine. Stock injector, stock turbocharger. Everything else is stock, stock, stock. Okay, No, no camshaft, no nothing. And it's really quite amazing that we can approach 800 foot-pounds of torque. Nitrous oxide and propane actually achieve the same goals but in a different way. Propane is a fuel and when it's put into the system it burns and it burns so hot and so fast that it helps to burn the excess diesel fuel that's not being burnt. 7.3's are inefficient engines pretty much. They only burn about 50-55% of the diesel fuel. The propane injection helps to burn that excess 45% of diesel fuel that's just going out the tailpipe by making the fire real hot by burning as a fuel. Nitrous oxide achieves the same way, but it's not a fuel, it's a catalyst. When the nitrous oxide molecule enters into the hot combustion chamber, it splits, and you have a pure oxygen molecule. The nitrogen just passes through. That oxygen molecule helps to burn the fuel hotter, and you burn some more of that 45% of fuel that's going out the tailpipe. This extra 9 foot-pounds of torque that we picked up here was a result of the propane fuel. That's the only thing I can figure there because the diesel fuel is gone. There's no diesel fuel. If you go and look at the testing section where we did the dyno runs and whatnot, that last section was for a nitrous run. And when, the, when they first got on it, it shot a little spurt of black smoke and then it got clear. That's because the nitrous was burning the rest of the fuel out of the system. When we cross this line, we're throwing a band into the wind, basically. And at this point, we know that building more power is going to cost a lot of money in terms of parts breakage and in terms of repairs that are going to be brought on by the excess torque. The next step would be big injectors. You're talking $2,500 for a set of injectors. It's a whole lot of money. Bigger turbo, $1,000, $1,800, depending on which one you go with. 
you know, the, the Big Daddy Banks Turbo is about $1,850, but son, that thing will make 45 pounds of boost. Big fuel pump. you got to pay money for a fuel pump so you can deliver all that fuel. You better get that big transmission. Better get a Suncoast or one of those because all that excess heat's going to burn up torque converter in a stock truck. And you just pretty much expect to go to kibbles and bits at some point. Something in the engine is going to turn loose. Once you cross this 600 foot-pounds of torque line and you get into this region, you're going to be looking at expense in terms of repairs and whatnot from the excess torque that your engine is producing. On the street, for everyday driving or pulling, 600 foot-pounds of torque is more than enough. Do all the modifications that I show you on this disc. The big boost, the fuel modifications, the air intake, the exhaust, the impeller, Put an SCT and set it to the 90 horsepower setting. Don't do the 110 because you're just going to burn fuel for no reason. Do it to the 90 setting. Combine that with a Super Chips digital propane injection and you're going to be producing in the region of 580 to 600 foot-pounds of torque. You're going to do it reliably and you're going to get incredible fuel economy. Absolutely unbelievable. And it's going to be peel your eyelids back fast. This stuff out here is insane. Okay, It's just out there. You're going to spend a lot of money to go across that line. And if you want to do it, that's no big deal. I have no problem with that. But I also have to warn you, you're going to be spending some money. To put together a setup like this down here, you're looking at thousands and thousands of dollars. And if you're like me, I don't like to spend money needlessly. I encourage you now to take a look at the rest of the disc so that you have a clear understanding of what the installation procedures are on all of these different systems. 7.3 liter diesel engine is absolutely fantastic platform and is detuned from the factory so that Ford Motor Company didn't have to warranty transmissions and drivetrain parts. It's capable of operating at 600 foot-pounds of torque or more all day long, but your drivetrain has to be modified to keep up with it. Thank you very much for listening and I hope this helps you figure out the areas that you can modify on your truck with relatively inexpensively and get incredible gains of power out of it. Here at my shop at Power Stroke Specialty in Beaufort, Georgia, we install these products on a regular basis and these are tried and tested designs that work beautifully. We'd be happy to help you select and install these products on your truck here at the shop. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to go back to the web page and go to the Ask Bill section and email me with any questions. The best way to get a hold of me is on the internet in the Ask Bill section. Have fun. Enjoy modifying your truck. Get better power, better fuel economy. And you will enjoy your truck for many, many years to come.